In a resplendent cloud, the Holy Spirit appeared. The Father's voice was heard. This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today, dear friends, we celebrate the feast of the Transfiguration of the Lord. This feast was inserted by Pope Calixtus II in the Roman calendar to celebrate the victory over the Turks at Belgrade. And this feast takes place 40 days before, before the Feast of the Exaltation of the Cross. And our Mass today is offered for the repose of Ben Mariano. We now call to mind our sins. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship, grant, we pray, to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. First reading, Daniel 에은세의 말씀입니다. 내가 보고 있는데 마치는 옥자들이 놓이고 연로하신 분께서 자리에 앉으셨다. 그분의 옷은 눈처럼 희고 머리카락은 깨끗한 양털 같았다. 그분의 옥자는 불꽃 같고 옥자의 바퀴들은 타오른 불 같았다. 불길이 강물처럼 뿜어 나왔다. 그분 앞에 터져 나왔다. 그분을 시등 드는 이가 백만이요. 그분을 모시고 선 이가 엉망이었다. 법정이 열리고 책들이 퍼져 나갔다. 내가 이렇게 밤의 환시 속에서 앞을 보고 있는데 사람들의 아들 같이 같은 이가 하늘의 구름을 타고 나타나 연로하신 분께 가자 그분 앞으로 인도되었다. 그에게 통치권과 영광과 나라가 주어져 모든 민족들과 나라들 언어가 다른 모든 사람들이 그를 섬기게 되었다. 그의 통치는 영원한 통치로서 사라지지 않고 그의 나라는 멸망하지 않는다. 
주님의 말씀입니다. 하느님 감사합니다. 하답성 주님은 임금이시다. 온 땅에 지극히 높으신 분. 주님은 임금이시다. 온 땅에 지극히 높으신 분. 주님은 임금이시다. 땅을 즐거워하고 수많은 섬들도 기뻐해라. 흰 구름 먹 구름 그분을 둘러싸고 정의의 공정은 그분 어제의 바탕이라네. 주님은 임금이시다. 온 땅에 적기 높으신 분. 주님은 앞에서 산들이 밀, 밀처처럼 녹아내리네. 주님 앞에서 온 땅이 녹아내리네. 하늘은 그분 이를 널리 알리고 만백성 그분 영광을 우러러 보네. 주님은 임금이시다. 온 땅에 적기 높으신 분. 주님은 당신을 온 땅에 적극히 높으신 분 모든 분들이 아득, 아득히 높으시옵니다. 주님은 인근, 인근이시다. 온 땅에 적극히 높으신 분 세컨 리딩 사실 우리가 여러분에게 우리 주 예수 그리스도를 권능과 재림을 알려줄 때 교묘하게 꾸며낸 신화를 따라 한 것, 한것 아닙니까? 그분 이대함을 목격한 자로서 그리한 것입니다. 그분은 정령 하느님 아, 아버지에게 영예와 영광을 받으셨습니다. 존귀한 영광의 하늘에서 이는 내가, 내가 사랑하는 이, 내 마음에 드는 이로다. 하는 소리가 그분께 들려왔을 때 일입니다. 우리도 그 거룩한 산에 그분과 함께 있으면서 하늘에서 들려온 소리를 들었다. 이로써 우리에게 예언자들의 말씀을 더욱 확실해졌습니다. 여러분 마음속에 날이 밝아 오고 새별이 떠오를 때까지 어둠 속에 비치는 불빛을 바라보듯이 그의 말씀에 주의를 기울는 것이 좋습니다. 주님의 말씀입니다. 하느님 감사합니다. 할렐루야 할렐루야 이는 내가 사랑하들 내 마음에 든 아들이니 너희는 그의 말을 듣고 들어라 할렐루야 할렐루야 <웃음> The Lord be with you A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves, and he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them conversing with him. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and were very much afraid. 
But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and do not be afraid. And when the disciples raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, Do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Good memories keep us going. They bring a smile to our face. They raise up our hope. And that is certainly true to Peter, James, and John, who witnessed the transfiguration of the Lord. When the Lord's face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. It was such an unsurpassable experience never seen before. And I'm sure during times of doubt and extreme hardship, the three apostles, including the others, were encouraged, inspired, by this good memory of the transfiguration that kept them going. And so also with us, dear friends, when we have good memories in our life, if we have a good experience as children, then even in our adulthood, when we have difficulties or trials, and life seems unbearable, we can go back to those good memories, and they bring us extra energy. They keep us going. We persevere because of those good recollections. And so, as Christians also let us Remember with fond memories the resurrection of the Lord. He overcame the power of sin and death, and that should keep us going, encouraged by the victory of the risen Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mindful of God's promise that we will delight in rich fare, we present our prayers with trust in God's faithfulness. The church leaders, stewards of our faith, will live in a way that will draw all believers to know Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the world's government and authority, government authorities will work together in the cause of global peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that all who live with chronic illness will find assurance that they are always in God's tender care, we pray to the Lord that our parish will grow in faith and respect for all believers, we pray to the Lord. Loving God, we thank you for the everlasting covenant. We bring our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen.
This Mass is offered for the repose of Ben Mariano. Pray, my dear friends, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray these offerings ye are made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by his radiant splendor, cleanse us from the stains of sin through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he revealed his glory in the presence of chosen witnesses and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form which he shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples, and that he might show how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled what so wonderfully shone forth in its head. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, again gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We pray as the Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracely grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracely grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Amen.
Let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you will to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.